Welcome. Our phone is a Samsung Galaxy A70 and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So when you first boot it up, you'll be presented with the welcome screen where you get to choose the language. So all you want to do is tap on the drop down menu and then select your language. Now for me, it's going to be English. So let me just find one and tap on OK. And then we can just tap on the arrow to proceed further. Now this is completely optional. You don't actually need to turn it on. Uh, I'm not sure if it was even hearable, but uh, the phone said, hey, we should turn on data network, which you can then tap on muting it, uh, considering that would defeat the purpose of me talking. Um, so you can actually connect to it uh, or not. Now, if you don't have a SIM card at the moment in the device, it won't even matter. So you can just skip it all together until you put in the SIM card. Then you have basically all the uh, terms and services for the phone. Uh, I have read and agreed to all of them, otherwise you can't really proceed and tap on next. Um, bring your old data from uh, basically from the old device. You can uh, choose basically to connect it to your uh, computer and just get it to the backup, uh, skip this, uh, do it wirelessly using a program. Um, I'm just gonna skip it, I don't wanna back it up or, or restore it in a way. Uh, so I just tap on next, but you you can if you choose to. Then you have the network connection. You can choose a network or also skip it. Uh, keep in mind that if you don't have a skip button, that means that you uh, either haven't logged it. Or oh, the only reason why you would have it is if Google account is still logged in um, before the reset of the device. But I can skip it, so the device is fully clean. But still, I'm gonna select network and then let's just tap on next. Now this will take a little bit longer considering the phone will start looking for updates and uh, try to connect me to Google so I can log in. Um, so if you skip it, you will basically skip a couple steps of it as well. And also keep in mind that whatever you skip can be uh, later changed in the phone itself uh, in the settings anyway. And as you can see, here you can choose to log into Google uh, or just skip it. It will allow you to uh, use the Play Store. And if you skip it, you will have to log into it later on. And I'm gonna skip it, so just to preserve a little bit of time. Then you have the services. You can enable, disable them. Uh, and as I said, you can basically change the settings of it later on in the settings itself. Just tap on next protect your phone. Uh, here you get to set up uh, some kind of password, passcode. Um, so you can also skip it as you can see right here, not now. And you have multiple different uh, ways of setting it up. So you have face recognition, fingerprint, pattern, pin, password. Um, keep in mind that if you choose face recognition or fingerprint or both of them, you will still need to add uh, either pin, password or pattern. Otherwise you won't be able to set it up. So for this purpose, I'm just gonna set up pattern so once you tap on it, it will tell you to draw the pattern that you wish to use. So let me just draw that, continue, and then redraw the same pattern once more and confirm. Now, if you set up some face on ID or uh, fingerprint, you'll have to set up that, that first and then you can actually add the fingerprint or face ID. And here you have apps that uh, Samsung is uh, offering to basically install. Uh, you can also disable this so you don't get all these Samsung apps if you don't want them. Um, and once you're ready, you can just tap on OK. And adding finishing touches and it's almost done. Um, now here's the Google, I mean, a Samsung sign in. Uh, you can also sign into it or not. But uh, the only thing it will allow you to do is uh, connect to their uh, special store that they have. So let's just skip this. and you're all done. So let's stop and finish and we should be on the home screen. And there it is. And the process is now finished, so the device is set up. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.